what's going on everybody this is Kyle Richmond coming to another video review and continuing on with my Royal Rumble Elite video reviews today we'll be taking a look at the Target exclusive WE Royal Rumble Elite Collection the People's Champion The Rock this was pretty much the figure I was looking forward to the most from the set one because obviously The Rock is my favorite wrestler of all time and the fact he comes with this bad boy but also because it's a great looking figure and it's from one of my favorite matches in recent memory and I'll get into that as the review goes on Anyways, first up, as always, take a look at the packaging first. The collection, the rock, true effects, and since this is a standalone series, it does not have a series number at the top. Or a rumble, picture of the rock there. Same old picture that we usually get. Wish they would change that. Picture of the rock from the event. And in the back, we got his bio and stats, where it mentions the match that this figure is based on, which is Royal Rumble 2013, where he defeated CM Punk. Which, I was so glad he did that, because, not just because The Rock's my favorite of all time, but I know people are probably going to hate me for this, but at the time when that match happened, you know, uh, Royal Rumble 2013, I absolutely hated CM Punk. I could not stand him, so I was more than happy to see my favorite of all time, The Rock, whip his freaking butt and take that damn title. Anyway, so, whatever. Anyways, any other figures in the set, we got Macho, Man, Macho King, Randy Savage, The Rock, Bobby Lashley, which was my last review, check that out, and of course, Lita. Macho King, I'm definitely getting him very soon. Lita, I'm not sure, I'll take a look at her. Oh, and I just noticed something kind of funny. Oh, I'm sorry, I, th I thought I said something funny. I saw like a variant of this that said Macho Man there, so I guess that was a packaging error or something like that. I guess they fixed it. Anyways, whatever. So like I said, stay tuned for reviews of Macho Man, of Macho King, and possibly Lita. Bobby Lashley was my last review, so check that out if you haven't seen it. And that's about it for the packaging, so without further ado, it's time to layeth the smack it down. So let's open up The Rock and see what we got. We'll be right back. Here we have The Rock. Open up and I have his plastic prism. Now this figure is fantastic. Like, excellent. Mattel pretty much nailed this figure. It pretty much succeeded at all my expectations, what I was pretty much expecting when they announced that they were going to make... A figure of the rock from Royal Rumble 2013 and include it in this set so it's excellent and so let's take a look first up his accessories he comes with some interchangeable hands well three sets he comes with the standard gripping hands which are on him in the package he also comes with a pair of fist hands and also some open hands which we've seen before with other figures like uh like Ricochet and Tommaso Ciampa but these ones are a little bit smaller so if you want you can actually put these on him and do the pose where he goes you know you're like just bring it or something like that. So pretty good. I probably won't use these hands. I'll probably just use the gripping hands and the fists. Especially you, if I pose him like on the top rope. Like when he puts his fists in the air. When he gets on the top rope. During his entrance. And of course the centerpiece of my favorite era of WWE. The old school WWE Spinner Championship. I mean look at that bad boy. And I think they definitely improved on this belt. Because if I take the one that came with Elite Series 8 Sheamus and you see they actually fixed the color of it this one was a little bit too bright this one seems just right at least in my opinion yeah, we've seen this belt several times but they've never really gotten the color right until this one at least from what I can tell because I remember the color always being like this instead of like this bright I feel like a, a skin color so it looks pretty good same sculpting, pretty much. And the strap is a little bit stiffer. This one's a little bit more flexible. So, we'll see what the, so who knows? Maybe I might switch the straps out at some point. But we'll see. Beautiful belt. Oh, the nostalgia. is just looking at this thing. Wow. Now on to the Brahma Bull himself. All right. His head scan is okay. That's decent. It does look like The Rock, but some angles it kind of doesn't. I don't know, but it's still not bad. Like, I wish they would have done maybe the true effects on the Elite Series 22 head sculpt or the Elite Series 14 head sculpt, because in my opinion, those are, like, the best head sculpts they've done for The Rock from his modern era. Like, I wish they would have done the true effects on this. Like I said, still not bad. Okay, it's a really nice Brahma Bull tattoo there. Which, I miss this tattoo. It's a shame he changed it. I mean, I like the new tattoo, but I miss this classic Brahma Bull tattoo. Nice red eyes. He's got the nose ring. Dip in the nose. Fantastic. Of course, he's got his Samoan tribal tattoo. 
which I think they actually did a better job on this figure of the small travel tattoo because on the other ones they made it a little bit too big. This one they seem to have made it just the right size. Like it's not too big, not too small. So if I compare it to the Elite Series 22, as you see, it looks a tad bit too big on the Elite Series 22. Like it's huge. This one I think they got it right. Like it's not too big, not too small. Of course, it's standard black elbow pads, black trunks with the rock and silver in the front and on the back. And this is pretty much the same attire he wore at WrestleMania 28. So if you wanted to use this to, rec to recreate his WrestleMania 28 match against John Cena, you could because he wore the exact same trunks. And his standard black knee pads and standard black boots. I like the cut back here. I would actually like to wear a, a pair of boots like that if I ever get cleared to wrestle again. I'd like to wear a pair of boots like that. So excellent. Now my only real complaint with it is I think they should have went with a different torso for him. I think they should have chosen the uh, the torso they gave you Elite Series 22 because The Rock is a pretty jacked guy. And this torso is fine, but we've seen this torso many times on other Rock figures like Elite Series 14, Elite Series 16, and a few others. I mean, it is big enough, but it's still a tad bit too small. So I think they should have went with the Elite Series 22 torso. And the funny thing is, this rock is actually shorter than the Elite 22, so I thought that was kind of interesting. But if I bring in the Elite Series 16, once again, it's smaller. So that's weird. No, I'm sorry. If I straighten it right, they're about the same size. That's good. Let me bring Elite 22 back in. Yeah, they're about the same size. I'm sorry, I just didn't have his legs positioned properly. About to say because some people were telling me that he's a lot smaller than the other figures but whatever yeah so like i said there's elite series 16 from his match at survivor series and finally somebody take the honor away from elite 14 the rock here he is with pretty much my favorite figure of my collection the elite series 14 the rock let me take his shirt off there we go See, I wish they would have done the true effects on this head sculpt, or um, or this one. But like I said, this one's still not bad. Yeah, I mean, if I if it really bothers me, I'll do like a head swap or something. Articulation is pretty much what you would expect on any elite rock figure. Head can rotate through sixty. Can can't look down. Can kind of look up, I guess. Arms can rotate through sixty. They can go in and out. This one's very stiff. Rotate the bicep, bend the elbow, rotate the wrist. And hinge. Of course, you have the app crunch, which moves about that far forward and that far back. Swivel waist, very stiff. Legs can go forward about that far and back to the original position. They can go in and out. Rotate the thigh, double jointed knee. It can swivel at the boob, but because of the cut back here, it like rubs against his calf. So I would not rotate that. Very stiff ankle joint, and then the slight ankle pivot, so you can get pretty much a wider stance. So excellent figure. So overall, this is a great figure. So I'm going very glad to have it. Another great figure of my favorite wrestler of all time, the People's Champion, The Rock. So overall, this is an excellent figure of the People's Champion. Mattel pretty much took what he looked like that night and pretty much brought it to life with this figure. But yeah, I wish the torso could have been a tad bit bigger and the, and the head stand could have been a little bit better. But aside from that, it's a very solid figure of The Rock. I would say, if you are a fan of The Rock, and if you enjoyed this match that he's based on, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up if you can track one down. Because I know in some areas, the Royal Rumble Elites are very hard to track down. It took me like five months for my local Target to stock this set. Hopefully we don't have that bad distribution. Good thing I don't have to deal with the scalper prices, because the prices it goes for on eBay is kind of ridiculous. But regardless, this figure is just awesome. So pick it up if you can. I like if you can get it for a good price. And if you're a fan of the People's Champion, The Rock. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my previous video, which was the Royal Rumble Elite Bobby Lashley. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are down below. Check those out. And also, make sure you um, uh, subscribe and click on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload videos every single Saturday. So stay, tu so stay tuned for more videos coming your way. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.